Hey, how's it going, everybody? Expat Stacker coming to you with a quick discussion topic video about uh, silver and the silver market and uh, just giving my thoughts about uh, what I think for the near term for silver. So I recently came across this article on uh, Kitco.com, which is a great um, news source for uh, precious metals investors um, and accumulators. Uh, and it says sell us dollar by silver says goldman so they're talking about goldman sachs you know which is an institutional investment bank um and you know i'm not going to read through the whole article but uh in the beginning of the article uh they highlight some political realities in the united states obviously the election um, and I, I just want to make one point about that um, and this is this is just highlighting a political reality um, I'm not gonna assign blame or say what I think you know should or shouldn't happen just that's a topic for another video the purpose of this video I just want to say what's happening to the US dollar as a result so I feel that uh, the stimulus is kind of being weaponized right now as a, as a weapon for the election so you know the democrats are trying to hold off and make the republicans look bad and the republicans are um you know uh kind of doing i think they're actually possibly potentially split on this uh the president has said he wants to get um stimulus done uh mitch mcconnell and some of the senate republicans have come out and said they want a much smaller number than what the democrats are saying who knows that could be uh, gamesmanship uh but anyway i think what's obvious what everybody can at least agree on is that uh, they don't have the pe the people's, the citizens' best interest in mind. It's being used as a tool um, going into the election. So I think that um, what is happening here is that a lot of uh, investors, both in and outside of the precious metal space, are kind of in a holding pattern, waiting to see what happens. Um, I do think that after the election, we will get some stimulus, um, just depending on whoever wins. So that could happen as early as November or as late as maybe January, February, depending on how everything kind of shakes out with the election. So I think that after the election, we will get stimulus, which will lead to further dollar weakness. And that is going to be a good thing for a lot of assets, including uh, gold and silver. We did see that earlier this year, um, you know, platinum as well. Um, so uh, when stimulus happens, the, the, assets that are denominated in us dollars tend to to go up as the us dollar continues to weaken um i think that silver is undervalued right now still um, um and one thing i did want to highlight from this article is they talk a little bit about the election they talk about this the prices some historical stuff they talk about some currencies versus the us dollar and um there's a Goldman Sachs analyst named uh, Mikhail Sprogis, and he highlighted silver as a buy due to the precious metal being an obvious beneficiary from a global move towards solar energy. Um, they quoted him as saying, now with silver at $24 an ounce, a few uh, potential upward solar surprises in the coming months, we reopened the trade, Sprogis said. Earlier, Goldman has closed its long silver trade after silver surged 50% since March's sell-off and almost reached $30 an ounce in August. Sprogis reminded investors that solar investment represents about 18% of silver's industrial demand. So, of course, we know silver has industrial demand as well as uh, investment demand. Uh, the base case scenario is that global, global solar insta installations rise by 50% between 2019 and 2023, according to Goldman. The upward solar surprises Sprogis referred to include the U.S. and China extending their solar installation plans. Also, Biden's plan to proceed with 500 million new solar panels in the U.S. in the next five years could see a rise of 15% in global solar installations. The note added, so that's assuming that Biden would win. I think regardless of whether Biden wins or not, um, we are going to see silver uh, increased demand, industrial demand from invest. Uh, uh, state-backed um, infrastructure projects, uh, a move toward solar, a move toward um, yeah, electric 
uh, energy and more sustainable energies. Um, and I have highlighted this in the past. I'm also just as a side note, going to come out real soon with a video talking about platinum um, and something that's uh, similar, similar to this video, but uh, more toward platinum. So uh, the next thing I want to say, so this is obviously would be good for silver, right? Uh, we have institutional uh, investment attention towards silver, and that's driven by industrial uh, investment demand. Now, another thing I want to point out is that um, it doesn't take a lot to get the silver market to move um, because it is a small market. And I just want to highlight what that means for you by taking a look and comparing it to some stocks. So I'm obviously in, in Korea, so I'm, I'm focused on Korean uh, companies and Korean stocks. So let's look at this. Sangyang Cement Industrial. This is about uh, probably four and a half, five dollar stock. So it's a you know cement company. Uh, they have some other companies, whatever. So that's the regular uh, shares. Now let's compare it to their preferred shares. Look at this. Okay, this is a this is a uh, same company, but the preferred shares are worth like ten times the amount of the regular shares. Now why is that? Well, let's take a look at. I mean, just want to highlight this for you in the form of a graph as well. So this is just a regular company, Sangyong Cement. Um, and now let's take a look at this is just trading between, you know, five and six bucks, basically. Um, and now let's take a look at the preferred shares here. It was about maybe 20 bucks. Uh, it's gone up to this is a one month chart, by the way. It, it, it's gone up to almost almost 90 bucks. And by the way, yes, I did get in on some of this action. I kind of noticed it around here and w wanted to wait and see. Um, and and I probably got in around here and then I sold off around here. So almost doubled my my money there on that trade. So yay, good for me. I'll probably put it into silver and gold. Uh, but why does this happen? Why does this happen with the... This 1P right here means preferred. So why does this happen with this preferred shares and not with the regular shares because we can actually see this across a number of different companies let's take a look at one more real quick samsung heavy industries same thing that it's about you know four or five bucks a share it's been like that forever now we're looking at one year chart for samsung heavy industries preferred shares and what happened okay they were maybe around like 40 bucks or something they went up almost to a thousand right like you see this huge moonshot here all of a sudden out of nowhere and it's still around 350 which is you know if you even if you went through and survived all of this if you were invested back here that's great so why is this happening with these preferred shares and not with the regular shares well let me show you why okay uh here we're taking a look at on bloomberg this uh company Sangyong Cement, and let's see, it has fi about 500, a little over 500 million shares uh, outstanding. Now let's take a look at the preferred shares of the same company. There's only 1.5 million shares, right? You see, way, way less. So this shows what can happen in a small market when, when some institutional or larger investors decide to get behind it, uh, it can explode very quickly. Um, and that's what's what happened here. It's the same deal with uh, the Samsung Heavy here. It's it's basically in the stock market they call it like pump and dump. So they're pumping up the price, and then you see there's this huge drop off. So they pump it up, pump it up, pump it up, and then retail investors see this. They try to get on. Everybody's trying to get on. It's just got this, you know, unstoppable momentum upwards. And then the institutional investors and the people who are kind of behind, who started everything, they decide. All right, let's get off this and boom, it crashes. So, but this is just to highlight what can happen in a smaller market like silver. It does not take a lot to get the the train going, the hype train going. I think we saw that a little bit earlier this year um, in 2020. And, you know, I think that because it's a small market, um, when institutional investors are telling people to, you know, go ahead and get off of the US dollar and, you know, get off of um, a, a lot of stocks are really 
highly overvalued at the moment right now as well so when they're saying to get off of that and get off of the dollar and get into silver i always say in a lot of my previous videos that you know pay attention to what the institutional investors are doing you can look at what they're saying as well but also really look at what they're doing and see if it if it makes sense and i think that throughout this year we've seen a lot which tells us that the institutional investors are getting back into gold silver and other commodities quite frankly um everything is overvalued right now really in 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 the stock market so i think silver is probably one of the only things that's has some huge potential that's undervalued um and i think it's going to be a really good thing for us going forward um and i'm going to continue to stack it uh, i'm going to continue to stack gold as well um and that that's how i see it um coming in in the near future so guys let me know what you think there's industrial uh demand drivers there's institutional investor demand attention towards this it's a small market there's people are waiting and holding on to see what's going to happen in the election and i think no matter what happens in the election in the us election that we're going to go ahead and and see um you know some stimulus after the election which is going to be a huge uh, boon for financial assets including gold and silver and platinum so that's how i see it i'm not i'm not going to predict any number but i do think it's possible that we smash through even all time highs um i'm not going to say you know we're going to go to you know 100 dollars an ounce or anything like that um i'm not giving a number but within reason i think that you know the trajectory the momentum everything is there and we're going to continue to see this uh move upwards in precious metals so guys i'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this uh, do you disagree with anything that i said uh do you have anything else to add or contribute uh go ahead and leave it in the comments section if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe and uh hit the like button if you like this video or the thumbs down button if you didn't like it uh leave your thoughts in the comments section this is expat stacker I'll catch you on the flip side.